Hi, this is the second video for section 3.5 and on this um, example we're going to write the equation of a line given the slope and a point on that line. Now we're going to use uh, the formula that you see, the point slope form of an equation to write this um, equation. So to begin with we, I'm just going to write out the uh, formula and then we're going to substitute in for each of the variable or, or the slope and the uh, ordered pair and in the in for the variables that means we're going to put something in for y sub 1 for m and x sub 1 right this is my x sub 1 my y sub 1 so that's going to be y minus 3 right 3 goes in for y sub 1 4 goes in for the slope and then 1 goes in for the x and that's a subscript of 1. And then we kind of multiply this out so we're going to have y minus 3 equals 4x minus 4 and then I'm just going to transfer this up here so I can show the next step. We're going to add 3 to both sides of the equation and that leaves us with y equals 4x minus 1. Now this um, uh, particular one says to write the equation in the form ax plus by equals c. That is in standard form. So that simply means we need to subtract the 4x from both sides. And so now we have this negative 4x plus y equals negative 1. And then in standard form, it's, well, in some places they, they don't always make you do this, but this is the preferred way, is that the first term is positive. And that simply means if we multiply through by multiply everything times negative 1, then we can make this equation much nicer. And so that's going to make that a positive 4x and a negative 1y and a positive 1. So basically all the signs change, but the main reason we are doing this is to make the first term, the 4x, it, make it a 4x instead of negative 4x. And so then we're finished writing the equation of that line. All right, here is the next example. So same thing, we're going to find the equation of the line with a given slope. It passes through uh, the point negative 8, 9, and we're writing that once again in the form ax plus by equals c. All right, so first I'm going to write out the formula y minus y sub 1 equals the slope times x minus x sub 1. Then we substitute in, being careful with signs. So for the y sub 1, I'm going to substitute in a 9. And then 2 thirds goes in for m, that's my slope. And then that's going to be x minus, notice that's a negative 8. So it's really going to be minus a negative, which is plus, sorry, let me write that again, plus 8. And it's a good idea to go ahead and write the plus sign. If you write a double negative, then sometimes that just makes it confusing when you're trying to simplify it from here. Now we're ready to distribute the two thirds. So I will have y minus 9 equals two thirds times x and then two-thirds times eight. So that makes this equation not so pretty, right? Because we have to multiply two-thirds times eight. So really two-thirds times eight is going to make that a 16 thirds. So that will be plus 16 over three. I know you guys don't like fractions. Um, that's one of the things that happens on our discussion board. Oh, I'm gonna take that circle off of the negative eight is that students talk about how they don't like fractions, but you just have to deal with them sometimes. And then to solve for y, we're going to add the nine. And so this equation will be y equals 
2 thirds x plus. Now I'm adding 9 to 16 thirds. And so that's actually going to be a um, kind of a large um, numerator, I guess I should say. So we're going to have, um, let's see, 27 thirds. So 27 and 16 would be 43 thirds, which makes a not real pretty equation, <laughs> of course. And then we're supposed to write this in standard form. Okay, so I'm just going to take this over here so we can work on that standard form. All right, so first I subtract 2 thirds x on both sides of the equation. So now I have negative 2 thirds x plus y equals 43 thirds. And then to simplify this equation so that we don't have fractions and also we don't want a negative uh, 2 thirds as well. So if I multiply through everything times negative 3, then this will be simplified. Okay, so here's what happens. The 3 cancels out the denominator, eliminates the denom denominator of that fraction because 3 goes into 3 one time. Also, it's negative, so all the signs will change. So I'm going to have a positive 2x minus 3y equals a negative 43. And that is our equation for uh, this particular question. Now, I suggest that you guys use scientific uh, calculators. So you can take your scientific calculator and take negative 3 times negative 2 thirds using your fraction key. And then negative 3 times 43 thirds, once again using your fraction key. And when you do that, then it makes this easier. If you're confused about the fractions, you don't want to work that out, then that that's the way that I would go with it. All right. Next. So this is the same type of question as the previous two. We're given the slope and we're given the uh, ordered pair that this line goes through. I'm going to use the same formula. I like to write it out and also that helps you learn it whenever you're writing it each time. Okay, so I'm going to have, I like it when there's a zero here, y minus zero. That's nice. Negative one-fifth times x minus four. Remember we're substituting for y sub one, m, and x sub one. Well, I can drop the zero. So now I have this. y equals negative one-fifth x plus, that's um, negative four times negative one-fifth, so that's going to be a four-fifths and then I need to write this in standard form, ax plus by equals c. Remember this means standard form. Um, I'm gonna highlight that, okay? All right, so I'm going to write this up here so we can work on getting it into standard form subtract no let's not subtract let's add one fifth x so we don't have to deal with a negative this time which is nice so we have one fifth x plus y equals four fifths so that means everything's positive this time we are going to multiply through by 5. That's going to clear our denominator or clear our fraction. Remember when you were solving equations in chapter 2, you needed to clear fractions sometimes. So that's basically what we're doing. We're clearing the fraction. So that's x plus 5y equals 4. And then that's our equation in standard form. All right, so I'm going to stop this video. We're about to 10 minutes here, and that is video number two for this section.